in the beginning of 2022 as a response to the high inflation, the Federal Reserve hiked interest rates for the first time in three years. Almost no one expected what came after that. What started as a quarter of percent hike turned into the most aggressive interest rate increase in recent USA history, bringing the rate from zero to five and a half percent. This spiked the biggest market downturn since the financial crisis of 2008, both for broader equity markets and for REITs. However, in 2023 and the beginning of 2024, the big indices like the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq 100 not only recovered, but even reached all-time highs. REITs did not. And here lies the opportunity. By the end of this video, you will see a few charts which will show you exactly how you can turn this into a life-changing investment and why now might be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for REIT investors. But in order to do that, you need to understand why REITs crashed so hard when the Fed started raising rates. There are three key drivers of that. The first is what's known as the risk-free rate. The risk-free rate is basically the return investors get on their money, you guessed it, without taking risk. Generally, this will be considered things like government bonds and money market funds. Because the Federal Reserve hiked interest rates so much, suddenly these instruments were no longer yielding zero, but around 5%, which meant that a lot of people simply withdrew their money from stocks and particularly income stocks like REITs and utilities to put them there. This created a situation where a lot of REITs simply sold off to reflect the reduced interest in them by investors, not because there was something wrong with the companies. Imagine it like this. If you could get 5% with 0% chance of losing your money, and yet you had an investment in a company giving you currently 3%, where you had 3% chance of losing your money, you would demand the company to start giving you at least 6%. However, since the dividends of REIT are generated by their profit, which is generated by the rents they receive, they cannot just magically start charging their tenants twice the amount they have been charging them just until a few months ago. As a result, the only way the math could work was by their share prices dropping enough so that their dividends could now yield those 6% of their current share price. As you can see, this is not a situation in which there is anything wrong with the stock, it's just the shifting of investors' expectations. So this is the risk-free rate reason. Make sure you remember it as we'll come back to it later in the video. The second reason why REITs crashed so hard was because of borrowing costs. The Real Estate Investment Trust is a structure that allows companies to own and operate income-producing real estate by pooling the capital of even small investors like you and me. The catch is that they have to distribute 90% of their taxable income as dividends, which will allow them to not pay corporate tax. At first glance, this is great for us dividend investors. However, it also means that unlike normal corporations, REITs cannot simply retain their cash if they choose so and reinvest it to grow their business, which means they have primarily two ways to grow, by issuing new shares and by taking on debt. However, as you might have guessed by now, because of the raising of interest rates, debt became more expensive. As a result, investors perceived that REITs will have trouble growing in the next years and headed for the exits, crushing their price. Now, this is not always the case. As you can see from this research done by the National Association of Real Estate Investment Trusts, also known as NAREIT, generally in the past, when interest rates have risen, so have REIT returns. This is because usually the Fed starts raising interest rates when the economy is doing great and they want to take a little bit of steam off. And if the economy is doing great, then that means that businesses are expanding, people are buying houses and more real estate is needed. Landlords can then charge more for the existing real estate by raising rents. So basically the same fundamentals of the economy that make the Fed raise rates improve the business of real estate investment trust. However, this was not the case in 2022. Which brings me to the third reason why REITs crashed so hard. And that is the speed of the rate hikes. As I already pointed out, this was the fastest increase in interest rates in recent history. The reason for it was that unlike previous slower rate hike cycles, here, the Fed wasn't simply trying to gradually cool down a great economy. They wanted to quickly crush inflation and prevent it from going out of control. This basically broke the correlation between rising rates and rising REIT returns because when interest rates rise very fast, there is no way REITs can adjust their rents to the new reality on time. And going back to the previous point, especially if they have a lot of debt they have to refinance soon, 
it will prevent them from growing and might even hurt their profit. Remember how REITs need to pay out 90% of their taxable profit to investors and as a result, you have to rely on debt to grow? Well, in an environment where debt costs have gone up a couple of percentages within a year, it makes adjusting very hard, which generally slows down growth. Hence, REIT prices crumble. So, to sum up, the trio of rising risk-free rates competing with the dividends of REITs, their higher borrowing costs, and the speed of the rate hikes made investors rush to the exits and sell off REITs in 2022 and most of 2023. This is just a part of my thesis about how to get rich with REITs. To watch the full version, click on the video that should have appeared on your screen right now.